Well, fortunately, here uh, now there are uh, there are, there are a number of people who have experience who are willing to share that experience. And of course, uh, you know Deanna Walker, who who teaches a class at Blair School, uh, is an amazing songwriting teacher. Um, there are classes at, and now is, is a songwriting uh, major at Belmont, which is a brand new program. I may be teaching a class in the fall uh, there. I've sat in and t taught classes there. Um, there's people like Steve Leslie, who's an, uh, an amazing mentor and instructor. Uh, I have a website for that specific purpose. It's called makingstuffup.net. And uh, I don't make much money on it, if any. But I really found out that I really enjoy sharing the experience that I've had to help writers improve uh, their writing and their craft. It's a real pleasure to see somebody um, take a song, an idea, and develop it by writing and rewriting and writing and rewriting until, you know, with, with some coaching and feedback to where they have an airtight song, a song that's really, that really has an opportunity to succeed in the marketplace? Well, first of all, I think you want to find somebody that you really trust, you know, in terms of their instinct, and, uh, and uh, somebody who is not just out to get their money in advance, you know, to, uh, uh, th that their motivations are pure, that they're not asking for publishing, uh, uh, ownership or any of that sort of thing that they're there for the purpose of helping the writer improve their craft and not but you also want to be looking for somebody who's actually had the experience and has been there and done that mm -hmm. um, if you were to be learning how say to to make you know I mentioned cabinet making before if you were if you were gonna build build a chest you know, and it was your first time out, you wouldn't go to somebody who just read a book about it. You'd want to you'd go to somebody who's actually done it hundreds and hundreds of times. It's like if you went to medical school, you'd want to sit in on operations by, uh, uh, you know, uh, surgeons who've, who've done it a thousand times. So you want to see, you want to be working with somebody who has experience, who knows how to communicate in a way that you understand. And... Um, and, and try it out. I mean, I, I hear a lot of people complaining about the kind of feedback that they get, say, from the workshops that go on at NSAI or BMI, because basically, uh, and I'm, I'm not putting them down, uh, or, you know, and the song evaluations as well, because those are based on the idea of whether the song is in its present form competitive in the market. And to me, that's not the criteria. The criteria, as a coach myself, is, is the songwriter succeeding in communicating what they want to communicate? Let's let the marketplace take care of itself. Because, quite honestly, if somebody had asked me, after I wrote my list with Tim James, is that a hit song? I wouldn't have known whether it was or not. I knew it was a good song. I knew it had a wholesome, positive statement that it was solidly written but I had no idea that it was a hit song. Toby Keith made that determination. So the, the, the marketplace will decide we don't need self-appointed experts to tell the writers whether their songs are hit songs or not. We can help them make their songs the best songs they can be. And that's what the role of a coach or a mentor is.